and the directors too are fantastic. Um, again, each one has their own uh, dynamic and brings their own thing to the to the set, and how they work with actors and how they approach the story. And you know, they all know how the the ship runs. And Pino's been around for such a long time. He's directing our block at the moment, and he's just fantastic. Great energy, great support for the actors, and um, loves to try new things. So, so one more time. Ray lines. A lot of it will be following the body lines. Of course. And action comes in. Dr. Blake, single gunshot wound, mid occipital bone. Which explains the bruising around the eyes, yes, I know. It's near 38. And we've got Pino Mentor at the moment, he's, you know, a kind of fixture in Australian television and film, so. You just feel safe and you hope that they're having a nice time. You hope that they are enjoying the world that you're creating. Um, that, that always is a concern to me, that the director's enjoying being here because you want them to be inspired, you want them to care about your character and you want them to care about the stories that you're telling. And I think we, we manage to inspire our directors in that way. I think they do care about the show and they do care about the character's development. Gives the box a match, says Belle. Mrs. Beasley? Oh, hello, Amelia. Patrick? Hello. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Where is your fiance? Oh, he's just running late. Amelia! Excuse me. Belle! Hi. You okay? So good to see you. How are you, buddy? I always love the directors and the new ones who come through, or, yeah, they're always great and committed and, um, it's nice to it's nice to have the change. It's nice to have the new guy come through. But it's always, um, you know, it's sad when one leaves, the other one comes in. But it's it's good. It's good to have the variety as well. Cut. Okay, very good. Cut. Uh, Thank you. No, we'll do that. With you. First AD is someone. He's basically the person who drives the set along each day. He's the boss of the set in the sense that um, you know each department has their own head of department who tell their people how to run things. Andy's job is to um, make sure that we're on time, we, we know that we have to get this scene finished in an hour, and he tries to drive that along, he tries to sort of oversee how the crew are working and you know, getting the actors on set. He's basically the boss of the set. Um, the director's in charge of the creative side, he's in charge of the mechanics of everyday workings of a set. Okay, we're starting wide across the road, folks, then we'll come in tighter down the line on our gents, and then reverse yeah. on late. Usually we will go in and do a line run where we all stand around and uh, read the lines either off the script or we try and stand there and memorise what we have to say and it's just a general to get us familiar with the dialogue and then we'll um, go and block the scene which could take five minutes, it could take ten depending on how long the scene is. There's generally a lot of long scenes in this show so uh, that can take a while then we'll just go from there and tweak things as we go. From my point of view I I just see it as um, episode one is kind of episode 11 for me of series, you know, you know, it's, it's just continuous and the world is seamless and continuous and hopefully viewers won't necessarily see too big a difference either. I think what George wants is to just have this delicious kind of continuum that we, we enter at episode one and we continue all the way through without really being able to marcate where a series ends or begins. I think, I think that's good storytelling, you know. You're back then? Yes. How was Shanghai? Oh, Shanghai was fine. Who's the new chap? Charlie Davis. Parks has been seconded to Melbourne. Davis is his replacement. Didn't Jean tell you? 
Who do we have here? 